Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys checked out the last video, then I did a little uh, review and kind of a little mini install on these headlights here. But I've also uh, been asked to do a little review video over this grill here. So first thing to note when you walk up to the grill and you look at it, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, but you can see right there, there, there and there where it is kind of deformed it's hard to tell but you can see right there it swoops down goes up swoops down goes up swoops down goes up and swoops down again and goes up let me just tell you guys i've had this grill on for probably a year or so um, i think it looks pretty sweet in my opinion you do have to wire in these lights when you get them i went ahead and tapped them in to the running light on the headlight so that way anytime like the running lights turn on or anything those three lights turn on with it let me just show you guys here what it looks like just open the door so you open the door and as you can tell you've got your running light on your drl bar on the headlight and then each of those three lights so if you guys are kind of familiar at all with these then you've probably seen people's trucks on these the lights go out I've had this truck well I've had this grill for probably I want to say a year year and a half something like that and these are still the factory lights that came with the grill not really factory but the lights that came with the grill itself I haven't had to replace them I have heard of some people's going out and stuff like I said there's always that happening so you might have to replace that if that is the case but I have not had an issue with it now with this here and somebody is mowing outside so just ignore that it's a nice day but of course somebody's got to mow when i'm trying to film it's always how it goes but as you can tell like like i said here 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 and here where it bows down it was not originally like that when i got that so if you guys know how to install this grill then you'll probably know why but if not i'll kind of show you guys here real quick but there is a tab here here and here and those three spots are the high spots on there and so that is actually where this tab goes in and so it just kind of like weathers and stuff like with probably with snow sitting on it rain hitting it the sun hitting it the grill just kind of weathers and as you can kind of tell it just does that weird bow thing in those spots where there's no tabs or clips in there um, and also the grill almost looks kind of I don't know if you want to say gray or what. I did buy it as a matte black and it was a lot darker when I bought it, but just from the sun fade and all that stuff, then it does slowly lose its color. But that's just like how it is with the majority of plastic black pieces that you have on your vehicle. So it's outside in the sun and it weathers and loses color. So that's what's going on here. And when you buy it, it comes with like a D-O-O-D -O -O -D or whatever it is here. And if you look at the grill here, you can see it's flat here. And you see there's a line there, it's flat on this one. And there's a line up here. So the one I bought, it actually came with the F and the R and like a O and a D or whatever it was in there. So all you have to do is there's like four screws or something on the back of here. You take them out of the old ones and you just install the new ones. Um, I also think this grill, I think it was like $120 or something off of Amazon. I'll leave a link for it in the description down below. But just to show you guys what it looks like. So we've got the hood popped right now. So we're standing like at the front of the truck, looking up at the back side of the grill. So it's hard to see, but you can see like there, there, and there. Those are our lights from this side, and you can see all the wiring. I ran it down through here, and it goes under this heat cover thing in the engine bay comes down to there and wires into the battery and all that I'm trying to show you guys here we do have a clip it's hard to see the sun's being screwy we've got a clip there there or like screws i guess there 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 and there that is just to kind of hold this like back side of the grill in place um and then also you've got them on the bottom so like right here 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 and over there then there's just some uh, screws, as you can tell, on the back side that go into that. Um, so that 
that part of the install is quite easy, but as I mentioned, with these clips on the top, like here, here, and here, then those are quite hard to install because you've got those five bolts or whatever I showed you up top here. Um, they all need to line up and you've got these weird tab clips up top that need to line up at the same time. It honestly probably took me about an hour, I remember, when installing it to get this grill installed because it was quite difficult to do because you have to line all this stuff up up top and it's pretty hard to do. But like I said, I did it a long time ago so I don't have a video of it or anything. But just know it will most likely, at least it did for me, take you a while to get this installed. Also, one thing to note with this is when you look at it, you can tell it kind of goes down, like the hood goes down and then this grill just kind of cuts straight across. I remember with the factory grill, it kind of bowed down with it, but with this one, it does kind of go straight across. Because as you can note, I do have like a rock chip right there, right there. So. Actually, this grill covers it up pretty well because like I said, that I got that when I had the factory grill on because it kept going down. So this one shoots up a little more and it does have a little bit of protection as well as when you look at it like this, you can tell it goes up and kind of cuts down here. If you want to call it like a bug shield or something because it does kind of cut down. So I guess it could stop some bugs from flying up. Um, I guess it actually kind of helps a lot or it helps some, I guess, when I think about it. I don't actually really hit as many bugs as I used to, I guess, because um, especially when you've got these aftermarket headlights, they are a lot brighter. And so at least I've noticed it tends to attract a lot more bugs. But I think with this grill, it actually helps quite a bit. The bugs hit here and stuff, and you don't have as many bugs flying up to hit your windshield. But overall, looks of it are pretty good. I am a fan of the look of it. The install of the letters is pretty easy. The hardest part of the install is probably all these tabs and stuff up here lining all that up because you kind of have to go like up with it and slide it in and pop it back down. Uh, it's kind of weird. If I was redoing it, I would get the grill again because if you guys don't really know, then this is the XLT truck and it had the chrome appearance package on it. So we had like chrome door handles, chrome bumpers, chrome grill, chrome wheels, all that stuff and I was not fan of it so I went ahead and swapped all the stuff out I definitely like this over the stock grill that's for sure I think that's probably about it um, I would do it again I would get the grill again it wasn't that much money and it wasn't a terrible install it took maybe two hours or so but that's probably about it for this video if you guys have any other questions or anything like that or want to see anything else covered on the truck please drop a comment down below and let me know but other than that, I think that's about it. So as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.